All right, hello people, I'm Jabby Kuei, joined by Achara Kirk. Hi there. We're looking at Hogwarts Legacy official reveal trailer for the PS5. I had no idea this was coming. The only Harry Potter games I've played were Lego Harry Potter games, if I'm not mistaken. I played the uh, Harry Potter game on the phone, which was kind of like Pokemon Go. Gotcha. For a hot minute, yeah. Uh, I've read the books, I've watched all the movies, and here we are. Yeah. I made it. I've got the Harry Potter theme song in my head right now. That counts for something, I'm sure. It's five o'clock somewhere in the world. Here we go. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be the song. Magic, oh. both beautiful and powerful, binds together our long history. That common bond we share is the legacy of Hogwarts. Wow, what a way to like. Now it is time to add your own story to these hallowed walls and quite possibly shape the future of the wizarding world. Basically, he has posthumous on the theme song every there. Corridor, <laughs> every portrait, every stone in this castle wow. tells the story of witches and wizards who came before. Oh, did you get sorted? Here you will meet lifelong friends and grow into your own magical abilities in the classroom of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, Aww. and mastering spells, there is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. That strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. Your potential. Huh. But what form will it take? The journey ahead will reveal what you stand for. Oh, cool. The choices you make now will define the legacy of Hogwarts. Do you think Harry's in this game? No. <laughs> Just troll him. <laughs> Where's Professor McGonagall? Where's Snape? Where's all the people that we know? Where's Dumbledore? It looks cool. I'm wondering what the heck this game is though, because you're okay. spending so much time, like you're, you're going through the schooling and I'm thinking to myself, okay, so how long, how much of the game is actually spent at the school and how long before you get out into the open world? Like, is this, like Fallout, Harry Potter style. It feels very open worldy, potentially sandboxy to me. But what's interesting to me is this concept of, and I don't know if I've got this right, but this concept of, I guess you being able to influence the direction, uh, the path that your character takes. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's like a Bethesda game, you know, like yeah, an open world. Like you, cre like you, you create your character. Exactly, and like whatever your aptitude is, like maybe you are really good at plants and stuff and that's your thing and so your power as it grows has to do with that or maybe you're really great with animals and so that's kind of your speciality but i imagine that as you go through the school you kind of pick and choose like oh you know i'm gonna focus on this or focus on that you know like kind of how when you play those magic type games that you can sure. kind of you know choose what power-ups you want to use. They haven't you know? indicated whether this is an online game or not. Like if you are interacting with a bunch of different people going through oh. the process as well. I'm very curious about uh, as to how this is going to go. If it's going to be like one of those games that's like you're in it for the long haul, like um, well, World of Warcraft or something like that. It's by the same people that did that mobile game that I played, the Harry Potter game that was kind of like Pokemon Go. So, it, it, you know, what you're saying about it being online, that is very likely, and that could be really cool as well, because you can, you know, play with other people who are as obsessed with Harry Potter as you, and just kind of 
live in that world for a while. Yeah, this looks like a game that is going to be long and involved, but the, the thing is, it's coupled with some really amazing graphics. Mm. And the frame rate was look, was nice look. It looked like it was it was playing back at 60 frames or something. I don't know, it was, yeah, 4K 60. And I don't even know if that's the maximum that it's gonna do. Hey, what's that? That's a package. Oh, it's probably the groceries. I don't I don't know if it's gonna it's, it's gonna be locked at 60 or go even higher, but it looked great. It looked smooth. If it's an open world game, like a sandbox game, it looked great for being that genre. This feels like something that's been in development for a very long time, trying to figure this out. To allow it to have the scale of Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Ta-ta. Okay. To, ha to allow it to have the scale of something like Minecraft or whatever. Like, I don't know where it stops. It's This is all a nice tease. Right, yeah. You know, it's a reveal trailer. You really don't know what you're in for yet. The right? thing that I'm actually super excited about is the potential of being sorted in this game. Like, I think that would be really cool just to kind of, when you start the game and you arrive at Hogwarts and then you put the sorting hat on and then it's like, you are? A Gryffindor, and you're like, huzzah, or like, you're a Slytherin, and you're like, either yay or like, rah. I mean, I'd be upset if I was put into House Slytherin. You're excited for the part of the game that is gonna last all of a few minutes. Yeah. All right, then. You know, you can just go online and do an online I already event. did. I know. I am a Hufflepuff, okay? I need to go and figure out what my Patronus you're, you're is. You're looking Hufflepuffy. Whatever. I bet you're a raven. You've been having too many of those cakes. <laughs> Tasty cakes. Stop. <laughs> you Hufflepuffy lady, <laughs> drooling at the thought of food. <laughs> yeah, you said cake, and I'm like, no, oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm just impressed by the graphics of this so far. Like, it just, because you know that it's a, it's a massive game. And yeah. I, I think that one of the large appeals of this will be the ability to explore the entire. Hogwarts. Ca castle, yeah, and it there's probably just, like secret rooms and chambers and whatnot. Yeah, and I'm, sh I'm sure there's gonna be all kinds of online forums talking about how you get into certain chambers, how you yeah, get into yeah. these places. I feel like this is going to be one of those things that kind of takes the world by storm. And it's gonna be one of those things that everybody's playing. Like all the kids are gonna be on this thing, trying to figure it out, trying to unlock all the secrets. I mean, if that's what they're going for, I've, and I feel like it is, because there is that whole online community mm -hmm. for, you know, Potterheads and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you just migrate them over into an actual game where it's like fully 3D and realized and they can actually design their people. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. You know, you don't have to go to Universal Studios anymore. You know what? It did kind of remind me of Universal Studios though, like some of the stuff mm -hmm. um, in, in Hogwarts and, and whatnot. I was like, oh yeah, that looks really similar to what I've seen when I've when I've gone to Harry Potter world. I don't even know what my house is. I would guess that you're a Ravenclaw. Why? Because- Are you saying that just because I've owned Raven Towers from Silverstone? No. Okay. Be because you're very like cerebral and, and you're into overthinking and whatnot. Well, that's what women are into. Oh <laughs> yeah, okay. So I have to, I've had to customize myself like a, like a character in a game. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Sure. What is it called when women are into brains? Oh, um- a Sapiosexual? That's right. Yeah. Those are the kinds of broads I date, said nobody. <laughs> For me personally, I just the I, idea of exploring the entire castle is what excites me more than anything. The open world aspect of it, I'm like, eh, that'd be cool, yeah. Like exit, exiting the castle grounds of Super Mario 64, you know, being able to go outside of that would be awesome. I, I think that is exciting as well. It looks good. Um, but I'm more excited, intrigued at the notion of being able to explore every inch of the castle. I want to be sorted. Yeah. And go to school. That's what I want to do. That's what I'm wondering about. Like, wh how involved is the schooling part of this? Like, are you actually gonna? Are there gonna be lectures for an hour? No. With, I mean, you don't know if it's all online, and you just have the time to kill. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Sitting in a lecture for an hour. Just tell me which buttons to press for the spell. The, in Grand Theft Auto like, Five. Expelliarmus. In Grand Theft Auto, you can literally sit and watch television. Leviosa. They built in TV shows that you can watch into Grand Theft Auto. Wow, okay. You can sit there and watch it. That's involved. So, well, I mean, you're living in that world. And so why wouldn't there be like, you know, lectures and whatnot? Hey, if it's interesting, sure. 
You guys, let us know your feelings in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think, what you think this is going to be, if it's gonna be open world, or how sandboxy it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts and if you're excited. And so uh, check out Ashura Kirk, the Huffle Puffy lady, the Puffy Huffle Puffy lady on the social yeah. media where she- I've got Hermione's hair right now. It's like extra poofy. And uh, apparently I'm a raven. Claw. A raven beak. Not like a bear claw. 